Okay, so now we get down to one of my favorite topics of all, processor speed, processor size, and specifications of the iPhone versus Android phones. A lot of people have been boasting about how the Android phones have quad-core processing and the Android phones, or the iPhone rather, has dual-core processing. When I first heard this debate, I kind of went, hmm, deja vu, where's that coming from? And then I realized, oh, back in 2010, the iPhone 4 came out, boasted a dual-core A4 chip. Apple considered it revolutionary, they thought it would blow all the competition away, and Android went, we have quad-core, why would we use dual-core? You guys are so behind. And guess what happened? The iPhone 4 had benchmark numbers that surpassed the quad-core processors immensely. The iPhone 4 and 4S were considered some of the fastest smartphones in the industry over the, over the course of 2010 to 2012. Now we're coming up to a point where Apple's releasing their dual core 8A8 chip and a lot of people are saying that's going to get smashed by the quad core. That Apple's way behind the curve when it comes to performance of their processing and guess what happened? They released benchmarks recently and I'll link them below and I'll also show you a screenshot. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus are outperforming many Android phones, if not they're even with Android phones. The fact that a dual-core chip can perform as well as a quad-core chip, if not better, is just proof that Apple is right when they say it's not about the specifications of your computer, it's about the software. It's about the way you optimize the hardware with the software. The reason Apple has never said, here's our iOS, Motorola, you get iOS, uh, Samsung, you get iOS, and you can all program for it and create your own hardware, is because when you do that, you end up having a bit of a issue where the hardware is here and the software is here, and they don't line up properly. They have issues um, working together and giving you great benchmarks and overall just good performance on the uh, consumer end. This is why Apple with uh, their Macs, decided not to give Dell the ability to create hardware for them. They, did, they decided not to give Compaq or Gateway the ability to create Mac OS computers because they wanted to make sure that the hardware and the software coincided per together and worked extremely well together to create great overall performance. They went with the same philosophy with the phones and as you can see it's working great. They have dual core chips that are supposed to perform worse than the Qualcomm uh, four core chips, hey, guess what happens? The iPhone beats it out in every benchmark. Um, yeah, there are some benchmarks that show the Moto X above the iPhone, but it's still pretty close. And in terms of price points, the iPhone 6 is a better value overall. If you're a performance guy, if you like benchmarks and numbers, the iPhone 6 is definitely a better value. So this was a short one. If you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more videos about subjects like the uh, camera, the uh, screen resolution and screen size, and also about this whole war between Android and iPhone, check out these videos here. Check out the links in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.